Boys home movies with Chris and Mike. Couple of guys that are easy to like. Blowing shit up, going on hikes. It's cute. So movies with Chris and Mike. Playing video games till the sun comes up. Yeah, it's cute. So movies with Chris and Mike. Cute. So movies with Chris and Mike. Couple of guys easy to like. Welcome to another edition of Cube's Home Movies. Uh, today's adventure, we're going to be taking out uh, this classic car, 1967 Volkswagen Beetle convertible, um, out to do some geocaching. Uh, for those of you who don't know, geocaching is a bit of a treasure hunt, and um, it hooks up with some GPS, which we've got, courtesy of um, the latest technologies in cell phone mobile technology. And uh, we're going to see if we can uh, find some cool stuff. And uh, if we do, uh, we might even leave something behind. So, yeah, let's get this baby started and uh, go on an adventure. Yeah. We've arrived at the Pet Cemetery. I did not know that this place existed, but apparently it does, and this is where the geocaching website has directed us. Um, apparently there is a um, some kind of camouflage matchbook yeah, really hidden scary. somewhere in the parking lot yeah. here. Uh, it's definitely really hill. spooky. We've got some uh, lightning happening once in a while, um, we but we're going to go uh, look around and see if we can find out where the heck uh, the secret thing is, um, we don't really have any other flashlights other than our phones, but we do have the infrared on the camera, so um, maybe we're going to be able to find it. The code or the uh, secret word, like the hint, is cedar, so maybe there's a cedar tree around here that's got the matchbook, but yeah, we're going to see um, what we can find. Well, there's a huge tree over there. Whoa, your thing is so bright. That's a cedar tree, though? You, you sure? Yeah. Well... Here's the thing, and uh, this is something that I've, I've kind of been thinking about. There's going to be somebody else who's going to come and look in one of these cedar trees, and we've got to make sure that you know they at least have a chance to find something. Oh man, I just stepped in a big puddle. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. yeah, I can't step in any kind of water. These shoes are like have holes on the bottom. <laughs> oh man, brutal. I don't know what the hell this is. It's like a huge mound of dirt. Man, the code is cedar. It's in the tree. It's not going to be anywhere. You think so? Yeah, think we should have some. In the tree? Yeah, it's going to be in the tree. It's camouflage inside the cedar tree. This is a zip tie I found. That doesn't count. You really think it's going to be in the tree? I don't think. I think it's going to be like. It's got to be on the ground somewhere, right? No, because then someone could just find it and walk away with it. They want to make it like challenging to actually find it, right? You think so? Okay, let me go try over near this tree. What are you seeing, dude? It's got barbed wire here, man. Dude, you can just walk right in. It's spooky in here. Okay, I got 662. What's that light in the background? Yo, should we... Should we lock the car? I think we should. I don't know what the heck we're looking for here. <laughs> it's supposed to be a camouflaged match, matchbook tin or something. Shine it all around the back. There's like a plastic flower. Yeah, maybe that's something. Do you think that that's something that someone might have left behind? It probably is, man. It's 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 always a container, though. Like, it's inside. Oh, it's inside something? Yeah. It's never just out in the open. You hear that? Can you hear that, dude? Yeah. There's like a changing light over there. Can you see that, dude? Well, I think you're right, man. It's got to be in those trees somewhere. 
Yeah, I think so too. In here somewhere. It might have been covered by that giant pile of dirt. You think it got buried? Well, it's possible, right? What did it say it looked like again? Uh, camouflage match matchbook. It's got to be in this tree, man. That's where it's going to be. It's going to be hidden somewhere in that tree. Yeah. Okay. Let me use your phone again so I can look. This guy's electric. Man, I can't see anything. I can just see some bushes, some twigs. Nothing down here, but... I let you buy a, a can of gas, like one of those red ones. You can carry it around. If you're not in your car, but if you want to put the gas can in your car so that you might have it if you were to run out of gas, you can fill up, right? Yeah, exactly. But it's illegal for you to carry the gas canister in your car because it's an explosion risk. And you might blow your car up and like kill yourself or kill other people or cause property damage or a fire. Who knows, right? So they don't let you do it, but it's so stupid. What's the point if you can't have it in your car, right? Yeah, I know. Makes no sense. You have to be able to transport it. Yeah, so all, all you do is when the cops pull you over, you just say, I'm just taking this gas to my friend's house, <laughs> officer. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> and then you get let off and, and there you go. Yeah, you can't go to jail for having gas in your car. No, I'm sure he'll just be like, don't do it again. <laughs> have a nice evening, sir. There's another, there's a lot, couple that are three kilometers away. Big yellow box, something about a plane. I'm sure that's probably the end of one of those roads, man. We were gonna go to the end of Glancaster anyway, right? Yeah. Okay, let me see where this one is. It's three kilometers away. Or we could go to the yellow box, which is also three kilometers. You're missing all the lightning. And uh, we can't even see anything. We're trying to see with our phones here. It's hilarious. So I think we're giving up and uh, <laughs> we might check out that yellow box because that's that's pretty easy to find. It's in the city and yeah. it's lit. I mean, we could try another place around here. We could check the map and see what's available. 